Hey, how are you feeling? You got John Riggs here. Super excited to have the world premiere, the debut of the trailer for a very awesome documentary coming soon called Rarity, let me get it right, Rarity Retro Video Game Collecting in the Modern Era. It's a documentary all about uh, retro game collecting, about video game collecting, um, and the video game collectors uh, behind those collections. Uh, super sneak peek inside. I'm going to be on there. I'm not going to rattle off all the other guests that'll be on there, but I'm sure you'll recognize several of them in this trailer alone. It's from the very talented Edward Payson, who has um, several documentaries under his belt. You know, when you see those movies, like those documentaries, and it's like, um, like this thing won all these awards, and it has like the best in whatever with the weathered, the, the feathered wing thingy around the logo, and it's, it just covers the whole box art. He has a ton of those. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure this will also receive several accolades as well. So I'm looking forward to it. And uh, without any further ado, here we go. Check it out. Nostalgia is such an interesting thing to me because so many people place it in different categories. Nostalgia for me definitely brings me back to when I was younger, when I didn't ache, before I had responsibilities, before I had a full-time job. It's like a microwave. You're reheating leftovers. Nostalgia is the leftovers. You remember it being so good, it was such a great meal, but it's never gonna be as good as it was when you first had the meal. <laughs> I finally got my Back then, I put tons of time, tons of energy, tons of love into getting a box, opening it, smelling it, feeling it, reading these, these guides, these books. Everything in my mind is vivid. Even looking back at consoles, old boxes, when you see Super Nintendo boxes now, they're bright, everything's crazy. The reason I wanted to go back and play these old games and collect them, I, I had a deeper connection with them, I had a more intimate experiences playing with them. I thought they were just more well-made games, like core gameplay. You start to connect certain games with certain people you played them with back in the day, like your friend on the block. Physical media is something that I think is kind of dying away a little bit. You know, you see these streamers and people that are playing games, there's barely anything on the, the table, and you know, everyone kind of thinks of like a retro gamer or a collector as a messy, almost. But for somebody who's a collector, I want to collect the physical media, like I want to have the case with the game inside of it so I can just know and hug it and hold it. What do we care about, right? We care about pop culture, especially in America. Like, it's so American. It's Americana. Like, having physical products, you know, it's, it, it was capitalism. I mean, 70s, 80s, 90s, think of how many toys came out, how many actual physical products. And us now trying to actually get that stuff back is a representation of preserving culture. Uh, preserving the culture that matters to us, the culture that we grew up with. I've seen collecting destroy people. There's a dark side where it can interrupt relationships. I wouldn't recommend to the common person to fill up an entire room in their house of video games or movies or anything, which is what I do. I mean, we all have our own personal reasons for doing it. It's more of a, it's a niche thing. So, I mean, nobody does this because this is the thing to do. We just do it because we want to in some way or another, and we, we may all have our different reasons. <laughs> 